All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danielle from Rockweiler Event Design, and if you have just stumbled across this channel for the first time, welcome to all of my followers and subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos like these. Today's video, we're going to jump into an article that was posted this morning by The Knot that is driving the wedding industry crazy. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, The Knot is a major wedding magazine, wedding website that couples go on and they can look for venues and vendors and basically find the, the places and the people that they need to plan their wedding day. So vendors go and venues go on this website, throw a bunch of money at The Knot, pay to be advertised so that couples can find them. The Knot then in turn writes articles like these basically saying that half of these vendors aren't even necessary. We are burning shit down today. So the article title is seven wedding details your guests won't care about. No need to splurge on these wedding extras that'll go relatively unnoticed. And as soon as I saw the title for this article, I was thinking like, hmm, which seven vendors are you about to royally piss off that also spend money to advertise with you? Because that's essentially what they're doing, right? Is they're saying that there are seven wedding details that are going to go completely unnoticed that you don't need them. And I guarantee you vendors that provide those details advertise with the not. Spoiler alert. It's literally like saying, First thing that they say, Ooh. full transparency, I am reading this article full through for the first time right now. First thing that they say that the knot says you don't need, over the top stationery. Don't go crazy overstuffing an elaborate envelope with thick cardstock, 14 karat gold calligraphy, and real peacock feathers. Alright, so I think that's their attempt to try to be cute, but here's what's not cute about that. Okay, and so what's funny about this, and not cute about this, is that the Knot throws something called the Knot Gala every single year. It's in New York City at the New, um, the New York Public Library every single year. I've gone to it a bunch of times. It is the most over-the-top, look-at-me, 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 um, bad adult prom I've ever been to. Sorry, not sorry. This is our invitation for this year. Okay, can you see this? Can you see this? This is their invitation. This is the same company that's saying over the top stationery is not necessary and that your wedding guests will not notice. I'm not saying they're not beautiful and I love, I love beautiful wedding stationery and wedding invitations. I, you know, I love that stuff. So but I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite and send out these kinds of invitations and then post something on my website where stationery designers pay me to advertise and say, boop, you don't need it, boop, boop, boop. boop. On top of that, for these invitations, it says by the invitation creator, each invitation is unique, so no two are the same. No two are the same. For the Knot Gala, being thrown by the Knot, who just put out an article saying that over the top stationery is not necessary and you can totally like nix it from your wedding. Cool. If that didn't get wedding stationery designers, that mad, then don't worry, there's more. Number two on things that you don't need according to the knot for your wedding, ceremony programs. You know who designs those two? Spoiler alert, stationary designers. If I'm a stationary designer, I am literally calling up my knot rep today and this is how the call is gonna go. Literally refund all of the money I've ever paid you and remove my listing immediately. You just spent one and two bashing stationary designers and taking work away from them. Work that they need to get paid for so they can pay you to advertise. Number three that you don't need, aisle decor. Otherwise, small buds or lanterns you can repurpose as centerpieces work beautifully. Except for all of the brides, like several of my current ones that absolutely hate lanterns. Number four that you don't need, monogrammed favors. Your guests will appreciate fun favors, but they don't really care all that much. Ah! What are they doing? This is especially true if you offer something they'll never use, like monogrammed shot glasses or monogrammed anything. Hold on, hold on. So if I go to the knot and I look up local vendors 
Favors has their own category. When I go on the knot.com and I look up vendors and I go to the favors category for New York City, there are 90 vendors, 90 of them that advertise. So you basically just told everybody reading that article not even to go look for this stuff, it's not even necessary. Anything with monogram, your guests won't use, they'll throw it in the trash and these people are advertising for, you know, their health. Cool. Number five, expensive linens. Stop it. When was the last time you walked into a wedding reception and paid attention to the table linens? Probably never. I'm done. Okay, let's do this. Let's take a knot magazine and let's take a look at any of their real weddings, okay? Oh, oh, here we go. Here is, this is, so this is the Knot New Jersey and this is from fall, winter of 2017. So, you know, maybe they changed their mind since then. Doubt it, but maybe they did. This real wedding that got published. I see monogram favors, uh, shot glasses to be specific, that apparently the Knot says your guests will just throw out. And I see rented linens on all the tables. I'm not really sure how you choose to publish only weddings that have o these over the top details and then you can turn around and put out an article like this and say that these things aren't necessary. And by the way, when I look up wedding rentals in New York for linen companies, there are 23 vendors that advertise and the knot just said they're not necessary. Oh, wow. And don't worry, florist. Clearly the knot didn't forget about you. Number six says elaborate centerpieces. No one's denying those photos of full towering arrangements look stunning on your inspiration board, but no one's denying how pricey they are either. Actually, you guys constantly deny how pricey they are when you put out your bullshit wedding reports saying that you can get flowers for under $2,000 or $3,000. If I had a microphone, I would drop it. Don't need to import peonies from Japan. Who is importing peonies from Japan? It's like, stop, stop. All you're doing is a clean tablecloth Farmer's market flowers, a little greenery, and some twinkling votive candles, no one will bat an eye. Are you seriously suggesting to brides that they run over to the farmer's market and pick up some hydrangea on the big day? Cause that seems to be what you're advocating. I go to the farmer's market for zucchini blossoms. I mean, so apparently florists are completely unnecessary. Thanks for playing. Number seven. Wedding cake details. Just because you splurge on cascading sugar flowers doesn't mean your cake will taste good. And that's all anyone really cares about, right? Well, I don't know. Let's take a look at this style article published in, you guessed it, The Knot. Wedding cakes by style. Does this look plain and not elaborate, right? This is what they publish. And then they tell you, no, but you don't need this. Let's say, Romantic sugar stems. Nothing says romance quite like flowers, especially when they're handcrafted in sugar and entirely edible. Just because you splurge on cascading sugar flowers doesn't mean your cake will taste good. Same, same publisher. Nothing says romance quite like flowers, especially when they're handcrafted in sugar and entirely edible. No, but for real, I don't think I need to show you the rest of the cakes, but to make my point, that's it. So those are the seven. So seven vendors that actually six vendors, because the first two are about stationary designers. So the six vendors that no longer need to be advertising with the knot are as follows. Stationary designers, because over the top stationary and ceremony programs are completely irrelevant, kind of like the knot. Aisle decor, so I guess that, that, oh, wow. So I guess that also is Floris along with elaborate centerpieces. So two for Floris and two for station. Floris and stationary designers, completely not needed. Thank you so much for playing. Monogram favors. So anybody that's advertising with the knot in the favor category, like the 90 of you in the New York City area, just, you know, just call them and like get your money back. Cause like you're not necessary. Boop. All right. The 23 rental companies that are in New York City that all rent linens, y'all don't need to be advertising either. You're welcome. Wedding cake details. So anybody that's a pastry chef, you're canceled. You're canceled. Okay. That's it guys. This article's a hot mess. I can't wait to see pictures from their knot gala of the over the top elaborate cakes with the edible sugar flowers that they say are completely unnecessary. Seven wedding details your guests won't care about. Question for the knot. If these are truly details that guests won't care about, then why do you constantly insist on making them part of your knot gala 
every year. Asking for a friend. And that's it for today, guys. Hard-hitting truth. Peace!